Hey everyone, Microsoft just released 5.4 and in this video we're going to test it on a local setup with Olama. Let's get started. In this blog post, the Microsoft research team have introduced 5.4 and here they say that this is the Microsoft newest small language model specializing in complex reasoning. The model for 5.4 is 14 billion parameters. This is not such a small model as before. Uh, I would consider small LOMs somewhere between three and maybe seven billion parameter models. But here, 5.4 is 14 billion parameter model, at least at this time of the release. Maybe we'll see other sizes as well. And here they say that 5.4 outperforms comparable and larger models on math related reasoning. So the main achievements of this model, at least this is what they say, is including inclusion of high quality synthetic data sets. So you would imagine that specifically for math and math related reasoning, you might more easily generate synthetic data, Cur curation of high quality organic data and post trading innovations. And here they have a much more detailed benchmark, at least on uh, math competition problems. And here they show that actually 5.4 is better compared to even GPT-4 or mini GPT-4 or Gemini Flash, Gemini Pro. The model was also announced on X by Peter Lee, the Microsoft research president, and he is showing essentially the same diagram. And Jeremy Howard is asking him to allow those types of models in particular V4 to be used as a commercial license. And here he wants to just put those models available for the broader community and use them as uh, probably within a product or something like that. But until this point, at least those types of models, at least the fine models from Microsoft are not freely available for commercial use. Along with the blog post, the Microsoft research team have also released a technical report on the archive. And here you can go through the various improvements of the training process, the training data, etc., the benchmarks. But I particularly found interesting, at least for our practical applications, the section of weaknesses. And if you go there, uh, you see that the authors are aware of hallucinations around factual knowledge. And I'm going to hint at what we are going to see in a bit. And then it is less proficient at rigorously following detailed instructions, particularly those involving specific formatting requirements. The model that we are going to try out in this video is available on OAMA. But do keep in mind that these weights are not actually official weights. Microsoft haven't released the model yet. And these weights were uh, essentially downloaded from Azure, where Microsoft uploaded probably in the final version of the model. But still, this might not be the final release. If a newer version of this model is released, I'm going to update the notebook that I'm going to add to the GitHub repository for this notebook. And we're going to compare the results then. But until then, this is the model that I'm going to try out within the notebook that I'm going to show you. And it is quantized as 4-bit quantization. This is the exact model, which roughly takes 9.1 gigabytes of storage and I'm going to show you how this model performs in our test. The tests that we're going to do are exactly the same as the ones that we did for Quen 2.5 within the local setup and the Wama 3.3 in which we were using the Grok API. But in this case, I'm going to be using the Wama setup. So the model will be running locally on my M3 Pro, which is the M3 Pro basic a laptop and you see the response times that we are going to get. So first I am going to load the model that I've shown you. Uh, the model is running within our Olama instance 
and I'm going to load the files that we need as well I'm going to add the code model helper function. So the first task will be to do a coding and this task in particular wants us to generate a dataset with some of the wealthiest people in each continent with their name, gender, wealth and the continent name. The dataset must contain at least 1000 examples and it should be created as a pandas data frame that gets the top five wealthiest people for each continent and then the data is sorted by continent and then by poorest to richest person. This type of coding task was able to be performed perfectly at least until now only with the WAMA 3.3 model that I've tested in the previous video. All of the others model didn't perform the task as fully as I have described it. So I'm going to show you the code for this and you see that the code is actually very nicely formatted. Probably I would put those contents out of the function if I was writing the code, but even then, uh, at least to me, it looks pretty nicely formatted code compared to the other models that I've seen. And this is the sort, and I'm going to show you the results. So I would say that the model performed very well, except for one thing, it didn't do the sorting correctly. And you see that actually the sorting for the wealthiest person was done in the reversed order of what I have asked. So this means that the wealthiest person is on the top and then the poorest, if you will, is at the bottom. So again, it didn't do the sorting correctly. And this is a very similar to what we had with Quen 2.5. The next task is to label five different tweets into different categories. The first one is about malicious code within VS Code extensions, then getting everything from the cloud to your own infrastructure or VPSs and how this should be probably cheaper. Then replacing human doctors with AI doctors. The next one is by Peter Levels. And uh, he says essentially that you would want to surround yourself with builders. And the final tweet is from Dan Cole. And it says it's a very simple tweet. You can't focus because your mind, life and priorities are a mess and you haven't done anything about it. So these are the five tweets that we have. And I want our model to classify five, uh, sorry, four different categories from target audience, tone, complexity level and main themes or topics. And this is passed to the model. First, you see that it takes roughly 23 seconds, so roughly 4.6 seconds per tweet. But keep in mind, still, this is 14 billion parameter model. And uh, I want the response format to be in JSON. Let me show you the result. Actually, if you have a look at the classifications for each of the tasks that we are passing in, I would say that this is one of the better models. The topic here on health is quite spot on. Here, probably not so much. So I would say this is actually an error. Uh, optimistic for the replacement of human doctors with AI, which is probably the best answer that we got thus far. Then serious, positive, serious, serious. Uh, not sure why. Yeah, probably this positive is actually all right. Uh, professionals. Probably I would specify the VS Code tweet as for professionals too. Uh, general public, general public. Yeah, I would agree with that. So in general, I would say, and this is economics for surrounding yourself with builders. Yeah, probably maybe not the best pick, but it's all right, I guess. Yeah, so 
I would say three or four of the chosen classes are actually something there is a better class for that. But in overall, I would say that this is roughly at the place of Wama 3.3, which is quite amazing since uh, we wanted this model to produce a lot of JSON for us. And it appears that even though this is one of the weaknesses, this model did it. Okay, so here is the example. The next problem for 5.4 is to summarize the meta earnings report that are essentially for the latest quarter. And he, here this took about 50 seconds to generate, quite a slow output, but keep in mind that the actual input is a wall of markdown text. So uh, in here, I found that this model has started to hallucinate a bit and I'm going to show you that into the linked in post. So here one of the numbers is correct, the revenue for 2024, but this number here is incorrect. Also, the operating expenses have actually increased 6% year over year, but here it states that they were reduced by 5%, which again is wrong. So here you can see something about the hallucination that we've seen within the paper. So it completely failed on the LinkedIn post and the meta earnings report. I wouldn't use that information. Next, how good it is for structured data extraction. I have a receipt right here with some wine items and Piggly Wiggly as a store from which this transaction was actually complete. And I want to extract some information that looks like this, date of purchase, time of purchase, total amount, tax amount, etc. Payment method, a very, uh, I would say, standard extraction. And this is the actual result that we got from 5.4. Uh, you will notice that we have a quantity, some of the models don't have that, and for the prices, we do actually keep the dollar, which is actually pretty important if you think about it. Uh, we have the total amount, again with dollars, signs, time of purchase, day, uh, date of purchase, which appear to be correct. So I would say this is probably the best model for, at least on this particular example for data extraction. I think that it even beats WAMA 3.3. In the next text, I'm going to pass in the meta earnings report again, and I'm going to ask a couple of questions. So for this, it took roughly 31 seconds to get a response. What is the founder of the company most proud of? And here is an excerpt of what I would want this to reference, but it is a bit of an um, ambiguous question since you see that we here are not actually using the same words, but the WAMA 3.3 actually picked up some of the information very nicely. Other models had a hard time with it. And here it says that, I'm sorry, but based on the provided financial data and statements, there isn't any specific information about the founder of Meta Platforms is most proud of. And I would say this is correct. I would, again, probably try to get information about this. Uh, the One of their achievements was WAMA 3, but that's all right, I guess, in this case. And the next question is, what is the expected tax rate? Note that this took roughly the same time, 30 seconds. Uh, we have a lot of input for this model. And here is a quote from the text, absent any changes to our tax landscape. Uh, and the question is, what is the expected tax rate for 2024? Our full year 2024 tax rate to be in the mid teens. So we have the answer within the text. And here I got a JSON with an answer. Not sure why, 
the expected tax rate can be inferred from the net income, etc., etc. And so it goes on to calculate something completely strange. Uh, minus 25%, I'm not really sure. Uh, this is completely, yeah, not going to work out for you. So the final task is table data extraction. I'm going to again use the same PDF converted to markdown and I'm going to ask for a table with net cash provided and purchases for property and equipment. Both of those are available within the text that I'm passing in. And you see that this model is actually correct on the numbers. You can see here exactly correct. And it says in millions, which is a nice addition, I guess. But pretty much every model have been correct about this table. And this is the one table that only, I guess, Wama 3.3 was able to extract correctly. Again, all of the information for this table is available within the text and it is somewhat formatted in within there. Operating margin, effective tax rate and cost of revenue 2023 and 2024. These are the numbers. And this took a minute and a half to generate. Uh, you see why. We have a lot of text and a table at the end, which have nothing to do with the correct numbers. Uh, I would say that this is very similar to what we got with Quint 2.5. So I'm not going to recommend you to use 5.4 for table data extraction. So this is it for this video. We've seen how 5.4 performs on our own tests and we've seen that actually the model doesn't seem to be that great as the authors claim. In particular, the model failed on our coding test. It didn't sort correctly, even though the code that was produced was quite nice. We've seen that the extraction capabilities are not that good, at least for the text extraction and table extraction. Writing summaries based on financial data also seems to be failing quite hard. We've seen some hallucinations which were completely wrong. And if you just get the text from the model and use it for social media or other content, you would probably have some hallucinations within the text, which is again, something you don't want to have. And in particular, I would hope that this model gets some sort of improvement when the official weights are released, but at least based on what I've seen within the OAMA setup, this model is not something that I would uh, recommend to replace the Quen 2.5 as your local model. Thank you for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe. Also join the Discord channel that I'm going to link down into the description of this video. And if you find that the 5.4 is actually much better compared to what we've seen before, please comment below. So I might want to be exploring this model a bit further. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.